What's up everyone, Takedown here. Welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be doing a requested video and that is how to look up sold comps on eBay. Now in this video here, I'm going to show you guys two methods I use whenever I use my phone to look up sold comps. The reason I use my phone is because when I'm in the other room looking through my inventory, whether it's video game lot that I did purchase or comic books that I did purchase and I'm trying to find what certain items are worth and what they're selling for on eBay to then figure out if I want to sell it on eBay or sell it locally. I always have to look up sold comps and for me it's easier with my phone to do it right there and I can even list it with my phone rather than have to wait till I'm on my laptop to look everything up. It's just quicker to do it on my phone. So to do that, I'm just going to get right into it here. You can open up the eBay app. This is the home screen to make sure you're there. You want to make sure you're going to hit the three dots in the top corner and you're going to make sure you're on home then you'll have access to the search bar right here. So for this video, I'm gonna look up the PS3 Dead Island game. This isn't a game that I'm gonna be selling. This is from my personal collection, but I'm just showing you guys two methods on how to look up soul comps for it. So the first thing that I would do is type in Dead Island PS3. And this is what comes up for the listings. So you see there's a whole bunch of different listings. There's video game lots. There's different versions of this game. There's Dead Island Riptide, Game of the Year Edition. A whole bunch of different um, games do pop up whenever I do that. This is what's actively listed on eBay. This isn't looking up what the sold comps are for this game. What the sold comps are is the recent, uh, in order from the recent dates of this game what sold and what has been completed and what it sold for so to get there i'm going to bring this closer for you guys and i'm going to let the screen focus here all right so once you search what you're looking for which is dead island ps3 you're going to hit this filter button here it's going to come up to this screen here which i think because my light's too bright and you're going to sh click on show more you're going to scroll to the bottom here and you're going to click on sold items and that's going to automatically click completed items as well. As you can see, two things are clicked. Then you're going to back out and this is what recently sold for this game. This is the actual sold comps. So again, it is showing uh, Dead Island Riptide, Dead Island uh, Game of the Year Edition. So I'm just going to scroll until I find this actual game which right here, Dead Island, sold for $6 plus shipping. Gonna look at other ones here. It does have the Dead Island Escape, uh, other games as well. This one here sold for $5.12 plus shipping. This one here sold for $10 plus shipping, but it is the Game of the Year edition, so it included some other DLCs. This one here sold for $5.50. Uh, this copy here doesn't really say this one here was seven. This one here was eight dollars This one here was 250 plus shipping so the price does vary But on average if I looked this game up as something to resell I put the price on it for about five dollars because that's the average price for the sold comps that you do see here Now there is another thing if you have the physical item to check the sold comps for and that is to actually scan this barcode so to do that up here in the search bar, I'm going to let it hopefully focus here. Next to the search bar, you'll see this mic. Next to that, you'll see these uh, four lines. You're going to click that, and that's going to open up your, uh, your camera and put the barcode in that green square there. So I'm just going to turn this over, scan it, and instantly it does come up, and it did scan for this game. Now again, once you scan it, it is only going to come up what is listed on eBay right now. You are going to have to click filter, show more, go down to the sold items, click that. Again, it's going to automatically click the completed items. Then you're going to see what this game it sells for. Now, whenever you do scan the barcode, just remember not all the listings for this game are associated with the barcode on eBay. Now, this is a great way to find most of the ones that are just this exact game. So whenever I did search it, we found Game of the Year Edition. We did find the Riptide game as well, which is the second Dead Island game, as well as a few others. This should bring us mostly to just this game here. And finding it here, this one sold for $8.70 plus shipping. This one here is Game of the Year, uh, $8.57 plus shipping, uh, $7 plus shipping, $6 plus shipping. 
Let's see if we find more here. Five dollars plus shipping, six dollars plus shipping, five dollars plus shipping. So again, I would definitely price this game at about five dollars is what I'm gonna probably list it for locally if I was going to sell it. But you can find out better if you do look up sold comps, especially me if I'm selling a game individually on eBay. A $5 game sometimes is worth it if they are going to be paying the shipping, but offering free shipping for an item that's only selling for $5 is usually a bust. Shipping a game in Canada is usually $3.60, plus you have your eBay fees, so to me it's not worth $5 free shipping. This here would definitely be something I would sell locally. Usually eBay for me is anything that is about $10 or more, is I will list it individually on eBay. Now I'm going to check one thing else and share that with you guys as well because this game here, it, you've seen that the price of what it sells for on eBay is usually consistent. Let's check something else out. Let's check out a comic book. Now this comic book I recently sold for $150, so I'm just going to look it up here. I already typed it in, Incredible Hulk 449. When I look up comic books, that is literally all I do. I put the comic title in, Incredible Hulk, and then I put the issue number, 449. So Incredible Hulk 449 is all I searched, and if you guys can see here, one is listed for $26 plus shipping, $104 plus shipping, $200 plus shipping, $255, $281, $255. See, the prices are jumping all over the board, and for me, whenever I look up comic books, you can never go by what's listed to find the real value. You shouldn't do that for anything whenever you're looking to see the value and look up soul comps for because the listed items people can ask anything for. The person that's asking $26, the condition of the comic might be uh, ripped, it might be damaged, or they might not know the value and they're just trying to sell it really quick without knowing what it's actually worth. And the people that are selling it for $200 and plus they are just selling it and trying to sell it for that price point, but that doesn't mean that's what that comic usually sells for. Again, you're going to go filter, show more, go down all the way to the bottom, and you're going to click sold items. Again, it's going to automatically click completed items, and you're going to see what it sells for regularly. So you see this one here is sold for 281 That is a graded comic. This one here is $150. This one here was $86, $100, $111, $127, so roughly between $100 and $130. Now, luckily, back when I did sell this comic, which was about three or four months ago, I was able to sell it for $150 on eBay because at the time it was very popular. This comic here is the first appearance of the Thunderbolts, which is why it is so much. But now the price has dropped since I sold it and is now only $100 to $130. Nowhere near uh, $150 unless it is graded. So be careful out there looking up uh, anything that you are buying and try to get the average of what it sells for. Just because one sold for $200 does not mean that your copy is worth $200. Whenever it comes to comic books, for sure, it depends on condition, quality, white papers, it depends on a whole bunch of variables. So you definitely want to consider that, but just because something you're looking up sold comps for sold for $200, but other listings and other ones only sold for $100, you know that realistically you should expect to get $100 rather than the $200. Just because one sold for $200 doesn't mean that that's what it's worth and that's what you'll be able to sell it for. So I hope you guys has helped you guys clear up how to look up sold comps. Now, if you are looking on a desktop how to do it, you can look up the sold comps as well. You are gonna go to the search bar. You're gonna search whatever you're looking for. You can't really go and scan the barcode on the desktop, however, but you can search it by typing it in. And then all you have to do is go to the filters, which on the desktop is on the left side, and you're gonna click on the sold items again, and that will give you a sold comps on eBay on the desktop. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope this helps you guys realize how to look up sold comps. And the only reason I made this video is because it was requested heavily a while back. It's just I haven't had time to go and sit down and make this video. Hope you guys enjoyed. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.